In this video, we'll look at a pretty straightforward example of how to factor a difference of cubes polynomial. So we'll factor x cubed minus 8. We know this is a difference of cubes because we see our two terms are being subtracted, so that means difference. And we have two perfect cubes. We have x cubed and we have 8. All right, so let's recall the template that we should use when factoring a difference of cubes. Okay, in that form, a cubed minus b cubed. Um, I do have a video that goes into depth on using this template, so if you're interested in that, check the link in the video description. Okay, but for now, let's just kind of go through it as a quick review. We'll have a binomial and a trinomial, and it follows ab, a squared, ab, b squared, and this acronym SOAP helps us recall how to put the signs in. So we do same, opposite, always positive to put in. So I'm talking about how to connect these terms that we wrote out in the template. So it should be the same as our original polynomial sign for the first. So we'll put a negative here or subtraction there. Opposite to connect the a squared and ab terms. So that'll be a positive. And then the ap stands for always positive. So S-O-A-P. That's what that little acronym is for. Now we want to use this template that we've recalled to factor our polynomial. So you can see x cubed is in the a cubed spot. Let's go ahead and define a to be x. So wherever a is in our template, we'll put an x. And then we see our 8 is our b cubed. Ignore that minus sign. We've already taken care of that with our soap. Okay, our template accounts for that. So all we have to do is take the cube root of 8. So we know our b term is going to be 2. And from here, we can simply substitute in our a and our b into the template, and we'll have our polynomial factored. Okay, so we have binomial and trinomial. Okay, we have a minus b, because we have the same sign there. We have a squared, so x squared, plus a times b, so we'll write that as 2x, and then always positive b squared, so 2 squared is 4. And this is how we factor x cubed minus 8. As you get more confidence practicing with this, you probably won't even have to write out the template or really think too much about the signs. You'll just sort of know this is how it factors. Um, but for now, or if you're starting out, I think writing out the template, defining your a and b will help your accuracy. If you want to double check yourself, multiply these polynomials quickly to confirm that you do get back that x cubed minus 8. Okay, so we'll do that quickly in green. We have x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x. All right, then using the minus 2, we have minus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. Okay, you see these terms cancel just like they did if you watched the template video for difference of cubes, and you see we're left with x cubed minus eight. Okay, so multiplying this out confirms that we did factor it correctly. Remember, factoring is kind of just undoing your multiplication. So that's how you work it. Practice a few more examples, check out a few more videos on this, and you will have it in no time. Thanks for watching.